So sometimes your teacher might want to assign you a worksheet that you have to go in and complete, but you're not creating your own thing. And that looks a little bit different. So let's take a look. So if I go into classwork, I can see that down here, there are uh, two topics that I have not done yet. So one's right here and I'm going to click on it. And I can see right here, please answer the questions in the following attached document. I'm going to view the assignment again so I can see the whole thing and what that looks like. And again, you can see the directions are right here. It's always good to view the whole assignment in case there might be some directions that you missed. Here's the space for the class comments and the private comments. And over here where it says your work, you'll notice there's already something with my name on it. So I don't need to add or create my own document. I, this was created by my teacher. And if I go and I click on it, it's going to open up. And you can see right here, it's just basically a worksheet. It says, what are your favorite foods? Answer in the, bo use, answer in the boxes below. Answer each question with at least two full sentences. So what's your favorite thing for breakfast? And I'd type my answer here. What's your favorite thing to eat for lunch? And now that I have those all answered, I can close this and go back to the assignment. And I can hit turn in. And again, it's going to ask me if I want to submit it. And there we go, turned it in. That simple. Sometimes you might have an assignment where that instead of the work, the teachers added a site. So if I click on this assignment and hit view, you can see it says pick an article from the website list below, then write a one paragraph summary. The directions down here are pretty simple. Pick a news article that's interesting to you. Make sure your summary includes the main details of the article. So for this, I'd have to go to this website, find an article and read it. And then over here, just like before, I'd go to add or create, and I could create a document, type my summary, and then turn it in. You'll notice it currently says mark as done. I don't want to click that. There are sometimes assignments where your teacher might ask you to go and spend some time on Prodigy or go do something at another educational site. And they might have something to say, you know, they might ask you to mark it as done when you finished it. So then they know to go in and check that other site. But if I click this now without any work attached, It'll say that it's done, and when my teacher goes in to grade it, the work won't be there, and I won't. That's not really good, is it? So make sure that you always read the directions, and only click that button if your teacher tells you to. Okay, thanks. I hope this helps.